Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you a fix to an annoying problem. I'm going to show you how to stop the crop in the portfolio module, the gallery module, or the blog module. So a lot of times what happens is, you know, you set up a featured image, for example, in the portfolio module. You put it on your project, and then in the portfolio or filterable portfolio, it just shows this, like, zoomed in cut off version so we're going to show you how to stop things like that in this video so be sure to join us and be sure to subscribe and get all of these great divi tips and tutorials all right so in this video we're going to be referencing the blog post a lot so the blog post goes along with this video you can find the link down below or you can go over to pa creative slash blog and be sure you're subscribed there because what we're going to do is grab some code snippets from the blog post. So it's going to make it really easy to kind of have the video and the blog post open in, you know, different tabs. All right. So, we, you know, what we're doing here, we're, we're doing the filterable portfolio, the, the portfolio, the gallery, and the blog. And what we're doing is we're taking those featured images and we're uncropping them. So those those three or four modules are the ones that have like a feed in Divi. So some kind of feed that's pulling in, you know, the different post types and displaying them. So those are the ones we're going to uncrop. And I was thinking about doing these separate, but I thought, hey, I'm gonna just do them all together. Um, it's kind of a long tutorial in a way because I cover all three separately, but you're probably only looking for one. You may be looking for just the blog. So, you know, that's, you know, just skip to that. But it's it's the same process. It's different code, of course, but same process for each one of these. So what I'm gonna do is be showing you over on my live demo. So here I have the different modules laid out. You know, these are live, these are dynamic in here. So what we're gonna do is add our code and then refresh the page and I'm gonna show you what happens. So right now you can see these are all in a, a uniform shape. These are images. I have them as colors, but they're, they're just images. And um, we're also going to need a child theme. So if you do not have a child theme on your website and you want to, you know, do some of these things like cropping, uncropping the images, you're going to need a child theme. So you can just download our free one. Um, in fact, I'm going to be using the free one in this tutorial. So, you know, it's going to be the exact same thing. Um, you'll just on the blog post, there's a link. You can you can go there, you know, add your name and email and it will send you an email with the download link. So the first one is the portfolio module, and this is going to work for the filterable portfolio as well. So, you know, if you have projects and things that you want to show off, you might not want them to be cropped like that. And, you know, this is the code that's going to uncrop them. So let's copy that. So again, I'm in the portfolio section. Make I have all the different ones here on the blog post. So just, you know, kind of watch which, which snippet you're grabbing there but I'm gonna copy this one. Okay, so then over in your website in the back end, under themes is a menu item called theme editor. So you wanna go there, go to theme editor. And again, you should have Divi installed and you should have a child theme installed. So a lot of times when you click on theme editor, it takes you to like Divi right up here. It'll, it'll say, you know, select the theme to edit and it's gonna be on Divi. Well, you need to change that to the, to the child theme. So you just select the drop down and then hit select. And then once you come to the actual child theme here, you'll see style sheet and theme functions. So we want to be on the functions.php. And you know, here it says you can add custom functions below this line. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go in here and paste our code. All right. So there we've pasted the code to basically uncrop the portfolio images. So that's update the file click this blue button every time we're going to be clicking that and then we're going to go back and show you all right so that updated let's go refresh and there you go the portfolio module and the filterable portfolio module uncrop the images see this one's kind of short this one's square this one's real tall and this one i think this one's square too but i'm showing you the different types here so square tall wide um, and that's the same examples for each. So there it worked. All right, let's go down here to gallery. So gallery by default, puts them like this. So we'll go back to the blog post and go down here to the, 
gallery section. And we'll go ahead and copy this. And it's the same process for each one of these. Go back to our child theme, add our gallery code, and update the file. Go over here and refresh the page. And there we have it. Our gallery images are uncropped. So that's it for the gallery. So we'll move on to the blog module. A lot of people have problems with the blog module. And you'd be surprised. This, this uh, rectangle here, the shape, um, even if you think you're using like that shape, and you're off by a little bit, it's gonna crop them. So even if we're not, even if you're not changing to like a tall image like this, you're still gonna have your blog images cropped. So we're gonna fix that. So go down here, and of course it's the exact same thing. Copy that. Go back into our child theme. Paste that, and I have it all labeled, so you'll see like end, remove Divi Gallery module image crop, and then begin Divi blog module featured image crop. So that's nice. I have it commented out like that for you. All right, let's go do the last refresh. There you go. Your blog module images are, you know, the correct aspect ratio, and with all of these, they're they're uploading um, whatever you're uploading the aspect ratio as now they're going to be displayed as that same shape all right so it's just what it's actually doing is it's in divi there was a it's it's creating like a thumbnail view and it's a specific size you know aspect ratio so it's giving it a certain height and width by default and what we're doing is we're actually going in and saying hey you know let's remove that default height and width and just go with whatever it's uploaded as so hopefully you know, you, one of these is helpful to you. I know a lot of people are asking for the blog module and the portfolio, and I thought I'd throw in the gallery as well. And, you know, if you're interested in any of this stuff, be sure to join our new Facebook group because we're going to be posting lots of uh, tricks and tips like this, all our tutorials and even our courses and things like that over in our Facebook group. It's called the Divi Teacher. So you're gonna to wanna to go check that out. It's brand new. We call it the Divi Teacher because that's my my new nickname. So here on the blog, we're gonna be calling myself the Divi Teacher. And that's because I've been doing so many tutorials and everyone seems to love them. And that's exciting for me. And I really wanna do the type of content that you're looking for. So please let me know. And by joining that group, that's a great place to let me know, say, hey, can you do a tutorial on this or how do I do this? Ask questions, things like that. Okay, so that's how you stop the crop in Divi. <laughs> All right, so if you like this tutorial, if you like that expression, <laughs> subscribe and share and comment below um, something that you, you found useful here. All right, well, we'll see you in the next video.